How's it going, everyone? It's Daikin Sonny here, bringing you another Melty Blood Type Lumina video. And today, we're going to be going over 10 things you didn't know about Melty Blood Type Lumina. Now, some of these you may have heard inside of other videos that I made, and some of these may be new to you as well. So, think of this as the finale of my basically beginner mechanic videos for the game. So, next couple of videos that we're probably going to make, be making are going to be more uh, constructive discussions about the game as a whole, uh, talking about characters or things that uh, I like and dislike. There's overall just discussions about the game to keep, you know, just some healthy discussions about the game ongoing, along with other games and topics and stuff like that. So this is going to be pretty much the finale of this series. So let's go and start talking about number one. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is something I never mentioned in any video, and that is going to be that Moon Drive can actually be reduced by using charge from the opponent. So if the opponent actually does Moon Drive and you actually do charge, you can make sure that their moon drive actually goes down faster. As you can see, I'm like going on and off with the charge and it actually drains it faster. So this is something I've never actually talked about. And this game has so many small, just like small details and nuances when it comes to its mechanics that aren't talked about inside of the actual tutorial or any other place uh, outside of just the community, just telling people about these things. It's kind of crazy how many of these are actually in the game. So thing number two that you didn't know about Melty Blood is that when you actually use heat, not only do you get your life back, but it also stops the game clock. So notice that it's still at 58 seconds. So when you use heat, it actually stops the game clock. And this gives you a chance to actually win rounds that you weren't supposed to win or probably didn't have the time to win before. There's also one other thing that heat does. When you activate heat, you actually get a damage increase of about 10%. So if I take a normal auto combo B starter, you'll see that it does 2,158 damage. Now, if we do the same combo while we're in heat, notice the damage increase of 10%. It did 2,371. Now, this actually goes up even more when you do it inside of Blood Heat. Blood Heat will give you about a 20% damage increase. As you can see, that combo did 2,588 that time. The third thing you didn't know about Melty Blood Type Lumina is that when you start a combo with an instant air dash, the hit stun decay happens a lot quicker than you would expect. So if we take a combo starting with just a normal JC without instant air dash, look at the combo that we can do. Now, this is what happens when you put an instant air dash JC in there rather than a regular JC. Notice how the combo just dropped because of the extra hit stun decay that is within the combo because you started with an instant air dash JC rather than just a normal hitting JC. The fourth thing you didn't know about Melty Blood Type Lumina is holding a shield gives cross the protection only if an attack is blocked already once. So if Arcway does a shield here and I hit it, then the next one will automatically go as far as cross the protection. She'll automatically turn around. However, if she starts that shield and I jump over, this will not protect her. Now, keep in mind, you still have to know what exactly your opponent is trying to hit you with. So right here, she's doing a stand shield. The cross of protection doesn't help you against low. So you still have to guess between the direction that your opponent is going to hit you at. However, you can always input the opposite direction after the initial hit. So after the initial hit, Arquay can choose to go down and this will allow her to block in the opposite direction. The fifth thing you didn't know about Melty Blood Type Lumina is that the same move operation is applied within combo scalings even during whiffed attacks. So if you know anything about say move operation, when you use the same move within a combo, it actually significantly scales how much damage the combo do. So this is a chic example of a combo right here that does less damage with and without the same button. So you see the combo did about 3,343 normally. Now, if I put a 5B, which I do for the catch after the relaunch, if I put that in the combo twice, notice the damage difference that we get. So the combo went from 3,343 to 3,247. So just by simply putting that one button in the combo twice with the same exact combo, just before I go into the dash, I put in the 5B into the dash, it made the combo do less damage because I picked back up with the 5B after I do the JB. So now that we know how same operation works, like I stated at the beginning, it does account 
for with attacks as well. So if we take an example like this, where this combo does 1,784, basically I do the BC follow-up and I follow up with JB into JC, it does 1,784. But what if I whiff JC on the way down and then use it in the combo? Will the combo scale? It should according to what I've stated. As you can see, it did about 20 less damage. So rather than that 1,780 something, it did 1,767. So just showcasing the other one again. 1,784 with the whiff JC, 1,667. So the same operation is applied within combo scaling, even if you whiff the attacks. The sixth thing you didn't know about Melty Blood type Luna is that Moon Skills, EX Specials, and Invincible Attacks cannot be counter shielded when they're shielded against by your opponent so if we do anything like a normal you can notice that you can shield back from your opponent shielding you and this is what creates the shield war you can even do this from his dp his aid version because it is not actually invincible if it is an invincible attack it will say invincibility on the side so anything that has invincibility or is a ex special as the ex edges or is a moon skill if these are shielded, you cannot shield back as such. You see, I'm mashing shield and nothing will come out during the duration of this. Same thing with an EX special. I cannot shield back. And if I do use that BDP, I can't get a shield out. This also applies to anything that you can jump cancel. So he can jump cancel these on whiff or block. However, if this is shielded, you no longer have that option available to you. So anything that has jump cancel one block and is shielded as such, you also lose those options as well. The seventh thing you didn't know about Melty Blood type Lumina is that there are going to be two different types of clashes within this game. There's going to be normal clashes and then there's clashing with attacks that have clash frames on them. So the normal clash is going to be when two active hitboxes clash together like that. And this is going to be considered on block. However, when you clash with something that has active clash frames are tied to it that is considered on hit and if you know anything about on hit on this game you can jump cancel that so if i take cheekies to see here as you see i'm holding up afterwards and he cannot jump cancel this on block however if our curry was to get hit by it he can now jump cancel this so with this in mind we could take this into the exception of the clashes so if we do the normal clash i'm going to try to hold up and i can't hold up that is the first frame i can hold up right there However, if she does a move that has clash frames on it, say her charge unblockable, as you can see, you can jump straight out of that. So this can be something that you can apply to many different things in the game, including charge normals. So if a character is doing charge normals and you hit it, it is not the end all be all. A very common example of this is when a character does a charge C normal in the air and you hit it, it just seems like you're just bound to get hit. However, knowing that it is a clash frame normal, you can know that you can jump cancel this and block or you can jump cancel this and start a shield interaction so these are options you can do by knowing that you can actually utilize this off these type of situations this can also be applied to when characters do their moon skills inside of moon drive you can actually jump cancel those as well depending on the distance and how fast that the moves are some are a bit harder to jump cancel than others the eighth thing you didn't know about Melty Blood type Lumina is that three C's actually have head and vault tied to them. So they can be used as an anti-air if you know the way your opponent is going to be moving. So as you can see here, Arquate is doing a very late JC and even still I'm able to anti-air because I am completely invincible to her airborne attack. Now this can also be something that can be uh, clashed against. So if a clash happens, this is going to be very bad for you. But it is something that you can try to do. But keep in mind that because this game has a lot of different movement options, they can easily bait something like this out. So only use this if you know how your opponent is going to be moving at you and you can visually react to it. The ninth thing you didn't know about Melty Blood type Lumina is that successful shields will give you life back and moon meter. So shielding projectiles from full screen are pretty much worth it. So if an opponent is sitting back and throwing projectiles at you and you're shooting it without using any of the follow-ups, this is going to be pretty beneficial for you. Not only are you getting that moon meter pretty quickly, but you're also getting gray life and real life back. So you can see both of the bars are actually moving. He's getting real life and his gray life is going up, um, which is going to be something that he can utilize, of course, when he goes into heat and he could get that gray life back. And you can see the moon meter goes up pretty quickly when you're doing this. So 
without doing any of the follow-ups this is going to be something that's going to discourage your opponent from trying to use full screen projectiles at you all the time because you are able to build up these resources now not only this but this is something that is also just good to do because the opponent is probably looking for you to do a teleport because teleports are kind of easy for you to actually deal with if you are the opponent dealing with projectiles especially if you got super meter so as you see with cl she could just spend some meter and with from doing her follow-up she could just go into this and punish you for trying to punish her or at the right distance if she knows you're going to try to teleport in she can just give you a 3c because as we talked about they are completely invincible to air attacks so understanding that you can actually shield the projectiles and just gain resources will prevent your opponent or make them hesitant to throw as much projectiles as they are trying to do and this will allow you to get an advantage over them in certain situations and the final thing you didn't know about melty blood type lumina is that there are final different total durations for shields when there's actually different points of your moon gauge meter so at 100 percent there's going to be about 29 frames of total duration and at zero there's going to be about 35 frames of total duration so there's actually different frame data depending on where your moon uh, meter is when you're actually utilizing the shield and of course a bonus thing that you didn't know about in melty blood type lumina is that you can actually combo into your last darks by using your moon drive cancellations so a lot of characters can actually utilize this by canceling their animations and going straight into their last art when you have four bars available to you now this typically does less damage than doing a normal combo route into a level three per se but if you want to finish off your opponents in styles then see what your character can do and see if you can combo into your last arc to really tell your opponent that you're trying to style on them anyway that would do it for today's video guys as always if you like anything i had to say drop me a like i greatly appreciate it and if you are more for me Follow my socials and don't forget to follow me and catch me live at forward slash DaikinXDan over at Twitch. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications so you know next video goes live. As always, my name is Daikin and I'll see you next time. Signing out.